Welcome to Asian Quick Take. I'm Jacob. The BRICS summit has achieved a historic expansion. The Johannesburg Declaration of the BRICS summit emphasized the encouragement of using domestic currencies in international trade and financial transactions with trading partners and mandated finance ministers and central bank governors to research domestic currency cooperation, payment tools, and platforms among BRICS nations. They are expected to submit a report before the next summit. The global process of de-dollarization is accelerating. On August 25th, during the 10th ASEAN Finance Ministers and Central Bank Governors meeting held in Jakarta, Indonesia, the central banks of Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Local Currency Transactions to reduce reliance on the US dollar. Indonesia had previously established currency settlement cooperation with ASEAN members Thailand and Malaysia. This newly signed agreement expands local currency settlements, enabling the three nations to engage in trade and direct investments using their respective currencies without the need for the US dollar as an intermediary. The three countries also agreed to facilitate more efficient cross-border payments and financial asset transactions using their own currencies. While the US dollar remains the dominant global currency, de-dollarization is an ongoing trend, driven by various factors from within the United States and across the world. This process is becoming a consensus choice across the globe, from domestic policies in the US to decisions made by nations. In the context of de-dollarization, the eventual scenario might involve the US dollar being on equal footing with the euro and the Chinese yuan, or even a multipolar arrangement. The US dollar's position as the current global reserve currency is intricately linked to the post-World War II Bretton Woods system and is a continuation of historical inertia. However, in the long run, the US dollar is on a downward trajectory. When the Bretton Woods system was established in 1945, $35 could buy an ounce of gold. Now, it's nearly $2,000 per ounce, indicating a depreciation of the dollar by almost 60 times. Despite multiple rounds of interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve to strengthen the dollar, it's expected to enter another phase of depreciation. Furthermore, according to economic calculations, the US dollar has lost 97% of its purchasing power compared to the time of the Bretton Woods system. With more and more countries joining the BRICS economic group, the settlement of transactions in their own currencies is expected to increase significantly. This is likely to accelerate the process of de-dollarization, especially in the realm of oil transactions. The BRICS nations include China, Russia, Brazil, India, South Africa, as well as recent additions like Saudi Arabia, Iran, the UAE, Argentina, Egypt, and Ethiopia. These countries represent major oil exporters and importers globally. According to the latest data from OPEC, as of August, countries expressing interest in joining the BRICS group account for 60% of the world's known oil and gas reserves. Venezuela, possessing the world's largest proven oil reserves, has expressed a strong interest in joining the BRICS nations. They are advocating for the creation of a new global financial system that allows BRICS countries to settle transactions using new physical and digital tools, emphasizing the need for a de-dollarized economic system. Venezuela officially applied to join the BRICS nations on August 1st. Southern countries worldwide are increasingly concerned that the U.S. could instrumentalize the dollar through financial sanctions, similar to actions taken against countries like Russia and Iran. In the context of restructuring the global financial order, oil-producing countries facing limitations from the dollar could innovate new foreign exchange systems, creating a digitally-backed currency anchored to gold as one alternative to mitigate or bypass the influence of the dollar. Anton Silyuanov, the finance minister of Russia, 
has suggested that with the idea of a common currency among BRICS nations forming, the new development bank could potentially become a clearing center supporting cross-border transaction systems of strategic assets based on resources like gold. Economist Vinod D'Souza points out that BRICS nations have been major buyers of gold reserves in the past 18 months, making them the largest buyers of gold in 2023. These countries could be preparing for a return to a gold standard and are planning to introduce a new trade settlement currency, backed by gold. Combining the decentralized nature of digital currencies, this new currency could potentially run parallel to the dollar in global trade and become a new global standard for trade settlement. Zoltan Potsar suggests that the global financial system is undergoing a divorce from the dominance of the dollar and its influence is waning. He speculates that in the next 5 to 10 years, the financial system could become more multipolar. This new financial structure might be based on gold and include various reserve currencies, moving away from dollar dominance. These changes could significantly reshape the demand structure for the dollar and US bonds. Gold, symbolizing global economic power, is making a comeback. Some countries are reducing their purchases of U.S. Treasury bonds and the use of the dollar in favor of gold. The rise of digital currencies could weaken the dollar's dominant position and usher in a new global digital currency order, where gold and other strategic resources might play a more significant role. Recent trends in the global oil market align with Zoltan Potsar's analysis. For instance, African country Ghana and Russia have begun trading oil using gold. Russia and Iran are planning to establish a gold-backed digital currency economic zone in the Caspian Sea. Some Wall Street analysts suggest that oil-producing countries limited by the dollar could create innovative foreign exchange systems and issue commodity-backed digital currencies as an alternative to the dollar. As the global de-dollarization deepens, some Middle Eastern oil-producing countries like Iran and the UAE are converting a portion of their oil revenue into gold. The Central Bank of Iran plans to introduce a digital currency anchored to physical gold as a means of cross-border transaction payment, potentially gaining acceptance by central banks globally. For BRICS nations, the plan to introduce a jointly-backed new currency with a gold anchor could be advantageous demonstrating a move toward de-dollarization. More than 40 countries have expressed interest in using this currency for cross-border transactions. If successful, BRICS countries could persuade other emerging economies to hold this currency as a reserve instead of the dollar and US bonds. Iran has taken action and is negotiating with multiple countries for energy and financial settlement transactions using digital currencies. The Central Bank of Iran also plans to incorporate multiple currencies into its new foreign exchange system to mitigate the impact of the dollar. China, too, has been increasing its gold reserves for several months, signaling its intention to reduce risks associated with U.S. bonds. Amidst increasing global financial uncertainties, China might continue to increase its gold reserves to reduce dependence on U.S. Treasury bonds. China's performance in gold imports is also steadily strengthening, with gold trading volumes on the rise. This trend could continue, further increasing China's gold reserves. Overall, countries globally are seeking to diminish the influence of the US dollar, giving rise to various reserve currencies, with gold poised to play an essential role as a stable asset. As these trends deepen, the financial system might witness significant transformations, moving away from dollar centrality. Thank you for your viewership. Your thoughts and opinions are valuable to us, so kindly share them in the comments section below. If you found this content informative, please remember to subscribe and activate notifications for similar content in the future. We'll see you next time.